Hey everyone, this is Rachelle. Thanks for clicking on my video. And I wanted to come in today and talk about a subject that's near and dear to my heart. And that's the relationship between black men and black women. And the title of this video is, Will the Real Kings and Queens Stand Up? Now y'all, what made me want to do this video is I've been paying attention to the relationships that I see between black men and black women and the lack of respect that we seem to have for each other. I think back to our our grandparents generation. You know that generation that had to fight for everything that they got? That when they went out in the world they were treated like second class citizens, they were fighting civil rights issues, and it seemed like the whole world was against them. When they got home, they had to regroup to fill their tanks back up. And for the man, the woman, she grounded him. She uplifted him. She poured back into him what was taken during the day. And that man, he balanced her. He made sure that she was taken care of. And he fought the good fight for her because he loved her. You know, y'all, somewhere along the way, we have lost all of that. We've lost respect for each other, and it shows in the way that we treat each other. And it's sad to see. I think of our music. You know, some of this music that we listen to, you know, on the radio or that our young people listen to, and some of the lyrics that these young men think to write, and, and even these young women, about the other sex, the opposite sex, how we call each other bitches and H's and the N word and all of that in our music. We disrespect our own selves. So how could we as a community trip when someone outside our community disrespects us when we ret routinely do it to ourselves? We are the only race of people that clown each other publicly, you know? Think about all the other races. They're not making songs where they're calling their women B's and H's and um, baby daddy this and all of that. They, they don't routinely do that. That is something that we do. And maybe if they do it, they're copying off of us because, you know, all good music seems to come from us. But we do that to each other. And it boggles my mind. You know, I have been here on YouTube watching videos. Again, I'm still being drawn into this, you know, drama that sometimes happens on YouTube. And you listen to some of these videos where a brother is going off on a woman. And the level that they reach... And even with women, the level that they reach in tearing that other one apart, it's unbelievable. You know, there is no line in the sand that they will not cross. And it's sad, you know. We learned this somewhere. And the sad part about it is we're teaching our children that. So it'll be another generation who doesn't have respect for each other. And they will carry on this tradition that we've started. Where does it end? You know? If you call yourself a king, how do you put down the woman that God created on this earth for you? You're a queen. And on the, and on the same token, if you call yourself a queen, how do you put down your king? Now, I'm not saying that we're not going to have problems, that there are not going to be times that we need to go after each other, get each other straight. But it's the way that you do it, you know? It's the way that you do it. It's like we're both damaged goods and we're jockeying for position, you know? 
a lot of men talk about women being too strong and a lot of women talk about some men being too weak but there are reasons for each of those accusations women are strong because we've had to be strong we've been left alone we've been left as head of households and to be weak means you don't survive so we've put on our big girl panties like they've told us to do went out there and worked and took care of our families on the same token men black men out in the world are almost like public enemy number one and I have seen in jobs that I had where there's a black guy that works in our department. He may be the only one, you know, in the corporate world. He may be the only one. And the level, level of disrespect that I've seen, you know, corporate America give him, I cannot deny it. They will treat me better as a black woman than what they will treat a black man. They will give me a chance before they give a black man chance. Y'all, I've seen it, you know. So sometimes when we're referring to these men as we, they're out there fighting battles that we as women don't fight. And I guess to be treated disrespectfully, it takes from their manhood, the thing that God gave them that makes them different from us. So when we call them weak, think about what they're facing, you know, who raised them, what environments, that they were raised in and then what they go out in the world and face every day. Now, is that an excuse for each of these sexes to be mean to each other? No, it's not. It's just a reality of the way that we live here in America. Now, what I would like to see us do is get beyond that. Learn to be like our grandparents were where we respected each other, we loved each other, we stood up for each other, and we supported each other. Because what we're doing now, we're just destroying ourselves even further. And it's sad to watch. It's sad to listen to, you know, to hear us tearing each other apart. It's really sad. You know, when you're out in the world, tomorrow, the next day, and you're moving about your community and you're interacting with others in the black community, take a moment, take a second and just pause and open your eyes and look at how we treat each other. It doesn't hurt to be kind. It doesn't hurt to be a gentleman and it doesn't hurt to carry yourself like a lady. I believe that men treat women the way they are taught to be treated. What I mean by this is if you carry yourself a certain way, that's how a man treats you. You know, you carry yourself like a lady, most times they treat you like a lady. If you carry yourself like less than that, they treat you like less than that. To them, you're one of the fellas. They can speak to you any kind of way. And on the same token, ladies, like I said, we got to do better. Men, you forget that you are our king and that we need you, you know, to face this world. You are our strength. You keep us balanced. You're, you're our shoulders to lean on. We don't want to disrespect you. But we need mutual respect, you know? That's all I got to say on the subject, y'all. It just makes me sad how we treat each other. And when I was raising my two, luckily God blessed me with a son and he blessed me with the daughter. When I was raising my son, and I think I've said this in another video, I always told him that he was a king. I always told him that one day he would be some woman's strength, the head of his family. And I always told him that I wanted to raise him where whatever happened in their home, that his shoulders were strong enough 
to you know to to wear to bear the weight of of that i taught my daughter you know yes you are a woman yes you are a lady you go out there and you carry yourself like that so the world treats you that way you get you an education you work hard you do what you need to do to make it out in the world I taught both of them that I taught them that they were special in their own way you know my son is a man and my daughter as a woman now they're adults now and they're not perfect but I know this that every woman that dates my son eventually comes to me and say you know what you did a good job raising him he's such a nice guy now my son is a manly man you know I didn't want to make him a punk he actually grew up with two fathers so he is not a, a young black male that grew up in a fatherless home he actually had a stepfather that loved him very much and his biological father loved him very much so he had the best best of both worlds he wasn't raised by a single mother with my daughter she had her her dad in the house until her dad passed you know so she knows what it what it's like to grow up in a house that there's a father there and to watch that man interact with her mother like I said they're not perfect but they're out there and they were supply with what they needed or what we had to give them to try to make them the best man and woman that they could be and I do realize that everyone is not equipped with that and that's why now we have all this stuff between each other but I just want y'all to think about this and like I said when you go out in the world in the next few days Pay attention to how we treat each other. And if you can do just a little bit better, try it. Because we need to teach our next generation of young African American um, boys and girls that we have to respect each other if we want the rest of the world to respect us. And with that, guys, that's the end of the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. You have a great night now. Take care and be safe out there. Bye-bye now.